Welcome to SP Facilities, an overview and demonstration from SP Marketplace. SP Facilities is part of the SP Workplace Solutions set of products from SP Marketplace. It turns Office 365 from parts and pieces into a digital workplace on Office 365. The products are built natively, leveraging SharePoint and Teams, and take advantage of all the Office 365 platform as an out-of-the-box solution. In this video, we'll take a look at the Facilities product. The Facilities product is a full-featured facilities management solution and has a robust work order system that allows you to track and manage work orders, asset management, tracking asset information, and you can automate preventative maintenance, facilities management, all types of facilities information along with files and documents related to the facilities and same with assets. We also allow you to automate things with recurring work orders, both preventative maintenance type work orders or just recurring work. We allow you to manage contractors and vendors and provide a wealth of reports and dashboards to provide management visibility over the function. It is actually built into Teams and SharePoint and it really provides two portals uh, in one product. It's role-based portals and so the first side of it is really driving employee self-service by giving them a My Facilities portal that they can go in and submit work order requests. They can see announcements, news, any events that are going on, and also a knowledge base and a documents library that they can search through so they can find their own things without having to call you. The second portal is for your facility staff, and it's really where you're going to ma manage and organize the facility's function. And it provides a portal that you can go into from Office 365, whether you're going through Teams or through the SharePoint interface. If it's used with our suite of products and our self-service intranet, it also integrates and allows announcements, news, and events to be pushed up to the organization hub with the intranet. There's also a Doc Central that it integrates with that you can actually publish policies and forms and so on. And employees can search across different departments as part of the suite. So you can either run it as a standalone application or you can actually integrate it in your digital workplace. Let's take a look at SP Facilities. Okay, so I'm signed on as a end user, not part of the facilities department, but this is so we can demonstrate how users can use the My Facilities portal to get information and submit work order requests. So to go to the My Facilities portal, I just select Facilities, and that takes me to the My Facilities portal. In the My Facilities portal here um, is where I can get the latest facilities news, uh, any announcements. Here's North Parking Lot uh, closed for paving. By the way, that actually was pushed up to the intranet. And you can link to My Facilities from your intranet, or if you are using our SP Workplace Solutions suite, it automatically integrates with that. We can see any events. Looks like they're having a um, start of the year COVID, what you need to know, and I think that's around um, facilities cleaning and that type of thing. Uh, as well as we are bringing back some of the uh, workers into their offices. Um, you can go in and see the my, any work orders that have been put in uh, here as well. So I'm now up to speed with what's going on um, from the facilities department. Uh, now let's say if I need to find something, I can go to useful docs and be able to get to um, any documents, policies, procedures, those type of things. I won't go into everything in this demo because it would just take too long. There is a knowledge base. I can look up answers for myself or if I want to submit a new work order, uh, I can just select this and it will actually bring up the um, simple to use work order form. And I can go in and fill out this work order and submit it. And then I will also get an email automatically confirming the work order here. So uh, very simple form. I won't necessarily fill out every form. We just don't have time during this short demo. Um, they can also submit work orders, just so you know, via email to a shared mailbox. And we also have an optional web form that you could put on your website if you're supporting people outside the organization uh, with the facilities product, uh, such as property management or something like that. So that, in short, is kind of the end user 
um, experience here. You can also, by the way, because it is Office 365, um, contact the facility staff right on the portal here. And again, we came to this from Office 365, and I'm running it in, um, signed in as uh, Office 365. So that is the end user, very quick kind of overview from the My Facilities portal. Uh, you can link to other things, by the way, too. This is 100% customizable. Okay, now we're going to put on a different hat here, and I'm going to sign in as part of the facilities team. You can see that now I'm not, no longer David Demo, but I'm Daryl Trimble. And if I go and do the drop down to facilities, the product will automatically recognize that I'm not uh, an employee, but that I am part of the facilities team and it will take me to the facilities staff portal. Now, we'll give you a quick tour. This is the home page of the staff portal. There are staff announcements. The staff portal also can be viewed through Teams and I can link to the different teams, OneDrive, Planner, those type of things from with this, within this. And we'll take a look at it in a minute, what it looks like through Teams. Again, here's the news. Right on the front page, we have unassigned work orders. We have also notice of asset maintenance due. There's links that can be used and also a staff calendar for you know different uh, meetings and so on. Uh, so that's the home page you come into. And the what we see here, too, is links to main parts of the product. So uh, if somebody calls in a work order, I can actually hit this and do a new work order. Here are all the work orders, and we'll be going through and looking at that. We track the facilities. We track the assets within the facilities. There's also a knowledge base and a dashboard that we'll look at in just a little bit here, too as well. Now, there is a menu structure over here, and you can actually design the menu structure to show, you know, certain people certain things too. So you can actually have permissions. So for work orders, we can take a look across all the work orders coming in. Here we see uh, the list of work orders here, kind of just all work orders. You can see that we uh, can also color code things and do different things as far as the layout of the work orders. I can search for a work order. So if I wanted to find anything related to heat, I could do that and it would show all the work orders that um, are related to heat, for instance, as well. And I can also go in and look at work orders from many different views. So I could look at work or all work orders. I could look at my work orders and so on in this as well. So let's go in and take a look at what a work order looks like. Um, recently, one was put in, light out in the kitchen, and we could take a look at that one. There are also recurring work orders here. This is really for recurring work or also uh, preventative maintenance. Here's uh, heat is not working in the conference room. Let's take a look at that one. I select it, I open it up, and now we can see the work order form. And by the way, you can do this on uh, mobile views and so on too. There is a field work order mobile view too that you can your folks can use out in the buildings and stuff like that. So we see here is the original work order put in by the uh, end user was Daryl Trimble, and this details and status. If you if you were to take a look at the work order that the uh, user put in, they would see only the general tab in a simple form. But now here I can go in, I can assign this, I can track the status. You can put in request types. This is for reporting later. I can assign it to Jim. When Jim was assigned that, he got an email as well. I can actually assign it to a contractor, and they will get an email notification with the information on the work order. So you've got a contractor list that this is really using here. We can also go in and put in related items. It is related to this asset and so on here. There's a work log with the work order, so anything done related to the work order, there is a date and timestamp put in. There's also a knowledge base article, so I could actually reference how to replace a thermostat so that Jim could look at that, and you can have videos, anything that you want on that. I can also assign tasks. In this case, we needed to replace a thermostat, and I needed Linda, our administrator, to order a new thermostat. So without reassigning the work order, I was able to have Linda be assigned a task. And we can also attach documents, attach forms, attach uh, images, that type of thing to any of the work orders. So this is what a work order looks like in the system. And again, you can um, all the different work orders here and many different views of work orders. So I could look at it by, you know, by facility, for instance and easily do that. And I could take a look at all the ones in the Arizona regional office, and I can even go in and filter uh, them in any way. So I could filter them by status, by assigned to, and so on. 
So all of these different report views are already comes with the product and because it is SharePoint, you can create any report uh, that you want as well. You can also set up automatically, and there's some things that are already set up in here, um, things like reminders or request a sign off on it uh, or uh, that type of thing, or send out uh, a work order to a contractor. We have an add-on that uh, we, we've put in there so that a contractor could actually get a work order and from a web form be able to update that as well. So that, that's kind of the main part of the product. The nice thing, too, is it is all cross-referenced. So if I take a look at this heat not working in the Arizona office, I can go here. I can look at anything related to the Arizona office from this. So I'm cross-referencing just by clicking on that. And this is what we call our super view. So I can see, you know, here's the Arizona office. I can see floor plans. I can see what assets uh, are in the office, and I can even see what work orders have been assigned um, to this facility as well. And I can do that right from the work order itself. Same thing with asset. I could go in and look at the asset and see all information related to the asset. Just by clicking on that and opening up that specific asset here and being able to look at all information here. And I can see asset history, maintenance log, any accounting information, all related work orders against this asset as well, um, change requests, documents, and tasks. So again, what we're doing is staying in the work order, but being able to see all related information to um, what the work order is that I'm working on too. So we'll go ahead and close that as well. So that, that's kind of a high level view of the work orders. Behind the scenes, when anybody gets assigned, there is uh, automatic emails that go out and all business processes or approvals and that type of things are all automated. Uh, and we do that in Power Automate. The other thing that we also do with the uh, facilities product is we track assets and we can take a look at across all assets. This is very helpful when we need to look at how much work was done against assets and when they should be retired uh, or upgraded. Other resources we track is the facilities themselves, and we can track what assets are in what facilities. We also cross-reference vendors with the assets. The equipment is equipment that you may use if you want to track scaffolding, those type of things against work orders, and I could go in and see all work orders that uh, uh, and use uh, th where the equipment was used as well. We also track contractors. And you saw in the work order uh, earlier that I could actually identify a contractor and send a work order off to them if you have re you know, specific relationships with uh, contractors, especially specialty ones like HVAC and so on. You can actually track them and you can track all the work orders that have been assigned to them and, and also even track rating on the contractors. So when you go to review their, their uh, annual contract, you can uh, decide whether you want to keep on doing business. There is also a document management, so you can go in and keep track of all the documents, whether they be warranties, whether they be contracts, those type of things. And you can also give reminders on certain documents based on a renewal contract or that type of thing as well, too. And then finally, uh, there is vendors here that we keep track of. And you can take a look and see you know, all the assets related to a uh, certain vendor. And again, all of these can be sorted, filtered, anything that you want. You can export any of these to Excel. And you can actually add new columns or fields if you want at any time, too. It's 100% customizable. Now, we'll go here to uh, the staff area. And this is really where the My Workspace and documents and things that are shared by the staff. And so this is your collaboration. And again, shared calendar, shared documents, task tracking uh, is all done at the staff level. Now, the other thing, too, I mentioned is there's also a Power BI dashboard, and this dashboard is really where you can get a good overview of the activities that are going on in the facilities department. Let's take a look at that. So the nice thing is we take advantage of Power BI, which is part of your Office 365, and you can take a look across work orders by assignees, by facilities, by asset, by category. And the nice thing is it is interactive. So if I wanted to see specifically um, all work orders related to August, I can change this. There's also tracking by uh, month, and you can even see the work orders themselves. So that's part of the dashboard, and it's really designed to allow management to get a good overview of all the activities that are going on in the facilities uh, area there. 
as well. Now, the other thing too, as I mentioned before, is you can actually go in and get to this through Teams as well as mobile views. So let's take a look at that. And the interesting thing is the SharePoint site you saw is actually the SharePoint site behind the team. And so files are one and the same. We can see that the home page of the team is the facilities staff portal. And you can also, for instance, work on work orders from the team as well and be able to sort, filter, do all the same things that you could do in the SharePoint view right here. And even use products like Planner if you're doing things like tracking projects or those type of things right from within the team. And of course, you've got discussion posts as well. Okay, now, if I'm uh, out in the field, there, we also have a facilities management field service, mobile. And um, you can actually get to any of the screens through mobile uh, that we saw earlier. But we have a simpler one here that allows you know, your maintenance people or whatever to be able to go in and look at uh, the work orders they're assigned, facilities and asset management uh, information. And if I select a work order, we can see that I've got the work order here. Some of the basic information, there's a work log, I can update status information and so on and even close out the work order uh, right from here. And at any time, I can see any new work orders that are assigned to me as well. Uh, I can also do a search across work orders if I need to. So it is a nice, easy to use mobile uh, interface and it allows your field people to either use their phone or a tablet uh, out there. This happens to be a, a Galaxy uh, phone right here. So this has been a short tour of the facilities product from SP Marketplace, SP Facilities. And it'll allow you to really save time in automation, uh, give visibility uh, across all the facilities activities, and really start to allow you to uh, take a look at running in a much smarter facilities uh, type of thing, especially being able to analyze uh, asset activity facilities activity and know when to replace things and things like preventative maintenance. Thank you for taking the time to review our demonstration of SP Facilities. You can learn more at spmarketplace.com. There you'll find details on the features of the products, a screen tour, and you can request a live demo for your team. Take a look at SP Facilities. It's the next generation in facilities management.